What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I want to show you how to create that highly requested Jack Harlow look that um, you've asked me about on my Instagram and I took a look at it. I like it a lot. It's that film look grainy style. So definitely my type of picture. And I found out how to recreate that using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. I want to show you right here. And I've also created a preset on exactly this Jack Harlow inspired look. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with many more presets, over 75 presets, many Travis Scott presets, Drake presets, Gunner Stahl preset, Ray's Corrupted Mind preset, Sheck West, and many, many more. So check that out for sure because I'm also updating it on a weekly basis. So if you have the pack, it's really updated and you will always get new presets. So it's a pretty good deal. Check it out. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This channel is growing a lot. I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so much and I would really love to have your subscription and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. And if there's anything that I can do for you, anything I can take a look at for you next, something that you're curious about, um, some specific type of look, uh, DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack. I'm always open for conversation. I've just replied to all of your DMs today and I'm trying to really reply as fast as I can. So DM me or comment under this video however you like it. I've said enough now, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do is of course take your smartphone and take a picture. Now in this case, I really recommend you to take it outside when it's dark or maybe in the house when it's dark, um, but make sure that it's dark and your flash is on so you will create that nice flash and that vignette around your object. Now if you have that picture taken, we want to open the Lightroom app and open that picture. Now I chose this one of g Easy because it's also, um, done with flash at, in a night nice scenery, so it's perfect. And then you wanna hit the light and go to curve on the upper right, and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So pull up the shadows on the bottom left a little bit, and then just try and smoothen it out, um, create another node right next to it to just get that bow in there and then straighten it out towards the upper right to the highlights. And once you've recreated this curve exactly as it is right here, you're done. And now we want to pull down the exposure to around negative 0.66. And the shadow, you want to boost that up all the way to plus 100 right here. And the whites, we want to pull down to negative 27 in this case. And that's it for the lights. We go over to the color. And here you just want to pull down the temperature a little bit to negative 10 towards that blue area and the tint we want to boost that up to plus eight right here towards that purple area and then we want to add some vibrance to around plus eight right there and pull down the saturation to negative 39 right here so we go over to the effects tab and here you just want to boost the clarity a little bit to plus 10 and dehaze to around plus five right here and then we want to add some grain. This is a big change to the effect, so this is really important. So add grain to around 49 in this case. And now we just want to increase the size a little bit to around 34 and the roughness to around 60 right here to get a quite rough grain in there. And then we want to scroll up and hit the split toning. And this is where we're going to do the final color touches. And since that is a little purple in that Jack Harlow picture, we want to pull the highlights over to around a hue of 255 and a saturation of 23 is perfect. So it's 251 and 23. That's good. And for the shadows, I want you to pull the hue to around 210 and a saturation of 15 is good. So it's 211 and 15, which is perfect. And then we're done here. And that's it guys. This is the Jack Harlow look. I think we really nailed this. Keep in mind, we're using the smartphone and a free app only. So I think we came pretty close because he's probably using real film cameras and um, we don't want to buy a new camera. We just have our smartphone here. And um, that's why I think this is a great tutorial and we really nailed the shot. 
I hope you're happy with this. Also, I've created a preset on exactly this Jack Harlow inspired look. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with many Travis Scott presets, great presets, a Ray's Corrupted Mind, Sheck West, Bryson Tiller, Gunner Stall, and many, many more presets. That is also updated on a weekly basis. So once you have the pack, you will get free presets on a weekly basis. So that's a cool deal. Make sure to check that out. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Because if you have any questions, if there's anything that you want me to take a look at for you, just DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack, and maybe I'll make a video about it for you. Um, or you could also always just comment under this video and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. Now, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope I'll see you in my next tutorial. Peace.